In this video, I'd like to continue talking about the area of triangles, specifically using the area of a triangle to find a missing side length in that triangle. So for this example problem, the triangle shown below has an area of 50 square units. So we can write that down. And we need to find a missing side length, specifically the height of our triangle here. So remember for any given triangle that the area of that triangle is equal to one half the base of the triangle multiplied by the height of the triangle. So we can set up an equation where we know the area and it looks like we know the base. So if we label our triangle, the bottom part, we can call this the base of the triangle, and this missing side length, x here, we can call this the height. So x is the height of our triangle. And keep in mind with this formula that the base and the height of the triangle in this area formula, these must be perpendicular to each other. So there must be a right angle between the two. So with this in mind, let's plug everything in and try to solve this equation. So we know the area, that's 50, and I'm gonna drop the units now. And we have one half times the base, and the base is 10, and we know our height is x. So that's what we're trying to find. So let's just simplify. One half of 10, we can just rewrite that as five. So we have 50 is equal to five times x. And to solve this equation, we just need to divide each side by five to cancel out this multiplication. So five divided by five, we know that's one, and 50 divided by five is 10. So x is 10 here. And we can check this by just plugging it into our area formula and seeing if we get back 50 square units. So, we have that the area of this triangle, it's one half our base, which is 10, and multiplied by our height, which is also 10, or at least we think it is. And so we get one half of 10 times 10, which is 100, and half of 100 is 50. So this answer does make sense in relation to our area formula.